guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Chantal. I'm Jesse. And today we are doing Katy Perry reaction, Never Worn White. Mm -hmm. And this was a request that we got a little while ago, um, but then we got into the album, so this was just put on the back burner. So it has been a little while since this one was requested, um, but we did have multiple requests on it, so we wanted to come back to it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. I, from the title, Never Worn White, it kind of sounds like... Uh... Something you know, like, to do with like wedding. Well, yeah, you know, I'm trying to think of the phrase like, uh, like never the bride. Always the groom. Oh, Just oh, kidding. Always yeah. the bridesmaid. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's you never actually like wear the the white wear the wedding dress. Yeah. Is what it kind of sounds like. So yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll see. All right, let's get into it. Four minutes long. Let's do. Where we could be I stood on the edge of love But never took the lead And you took my armor off And did it delicately And I let my guard down To show you it's underneath Thank God that you were man enough To come answer my mama's prayer Ask the question, I said yes, but I'm scared Cause I've never worn white But I wanna get it right Yeah, I really wanna try with you No, I've never worn white But I'm standing here tonight Cause I really It's just every single time we listen to another one of her songs, I feel just like, that's like that much more invested in her. Yeah, I was like, that was like super. I do have damn. to say though that if you've ever gotten engaged and like you feel that like Jesse can even like att attest to this, like you get super nervous. Like 100%. I know Jesse is my person, and I there's no doubt in my mind that I will not marry this man. But it's the most still terrifying thing in the whole world because it's like more than anything in the world I want to say I do but then you just have those moments where it's just like am I doing the right thing mm -hmm. even though you know you are but you still question yourself because you've never been married you've never worn white you've never I don't know can just be intimidating so I can definitely this song speaks to me a little bit just because I've I've felt it mm -hmm. yeah that's like the way she delivered it too is like it's all those emotions of like just like the, fe the fear it is and it yeah. is scary it actually is kind of scary because it's just like i mean you see lots of people that get divorced or like they don't end up together and like i i know deep down truthfully that that's not going to happen to us but in the back of your mind you just like you know the statistics you know the probability you know but we live in we live exactly it, so yeah around, exactly but. so it's kind of like it's intimidating but like at the same time yeah at the same time like it's the most exciting thing in, in your whole life mm. and but at the same yeah but it's really scary at the same time so I totally totally can understand that yeah <laughs> In 60 years with a full family tree, I do give my blood, sweat, and tears to reach your destiny. I do, cause love is a minefield. Let's take this war, baby. I do, cause at the end of it all, I choose you and you choose me. Thank God I was woman enough to. The question I can tell you were scared Cause I never want white But I wanna get it right Yeah, I really wanna try with you No, I never want white But I'm standing here tonight Cause I really wanna say Yeah. 
every time she does that, I love that. And she just breaks it for a second yeah. and goes really, really high pitch. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty powerful song. I mean, I think anybody that's been engaged, like, even how she said, like, I know, like, you were scared when mm-hmm. you asked me. And it's like, I I know Jesse was scared because it took him quite a while to propose. So I know, like, I can, I feel like you can even relate to. Well, yeah, anybody in this situation knows. Like how, like she's describing the feelings. Literally. Yeah, like it's literally, so it's, like, it's not your relationship or the person you're with that you're scared of. It's just like, I guess the concept of marriage, at least for me, is a little bit intimidating. Well, yeah, the whole idea of it is just, like, it's, it's huge. You know it is, right? yeah, like, it's like it, a it, big step. It and it's weighs, like, uh, it, and for good. us, at, like, my goodness. I mean, for us at least, I feel like we're only, we both know we're only going to do it once. Yeah. And so once we get married, like, that's it. Like, we're married. And so it's just... It's a big deal. Yeah. It's a big thing. It's like a huge lifetime event. And so I feel like she's really explaining all of the feelings so, so well. Well, and she said, too, like, it's the same thing. You pull off the armor. Like, you completely, like... You have to expose yourself to the other person, right? To get... Like, to truly get to know each other and to get comfortable, to get to the point where you want to get married and that you can see yourself marrying that person. And sometimes that takes five days, sometimes that takes two years, sometimes that takes 50 years. But it's hot. like, every person, I feel like, goes through these feelings at some point in their life, whether they're, like, they end up getting married or not. Well, you have to be able to let the guard down. Yeah. Because, like, what's the point otherwise? Yeah. It doesn't really make sense. Yeah. And I think that's kind of like, again, I have, like, not that I know, but it's like. But there were so many that's times. That's probably why people like, split up so much. Is they yeah. never really. Like, fully let go of everything. They never really let go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even, like, there were so many times leading up to, like, our wedding. Unfortunately, we actually had to cancel it because of COVID-19. But um, when we were leading up to the wedding before COVID had even come in, I would tell Jesse so many times, like, I'm so nervous. I'm so scared. And he's like but what are you scared? Like, do you not want to do it? And I was like, no, it's not about not wanting to do it. It's just like, it's so much emotion and it's so much like, I'm kind of thankful that COVID-19 came because I feel like it gave us just a little bit more time. Like, like we, I, Yeah, we were able to do it like more like... More relaxed more and relaxed, more natural. Yeah, less stress, less exactly. Stressful. Like less stressful. And I think that's important is wedding planning is so incredibly stressful and if you can get I feel like that adds on to your emotions too like it makes it more intimidating and it makes it more scary and it makes it more overwhelming because you have to think about like all of these little tiny details that everyone's going to comment on and so I think we got kind of lucky in a sense that um we were able to postpone because well we did cancel that Whole wedding but postpone because we're going to do something else eventually um once we can travel probably so yeah um yeah but it's a little like it's a crazy feeling and i feel like she's explaining it really well yeah oh her delivery is always on point yeah yeah but it's because she's just she's honest yeah. yeah well and that's i think that's the one thing that i respect the most about her she doesn't fear away from a topic because it's controversial or because it's uncomfortable or because it's something that a lot of people don't want to talk about, but so many people need to hear at the same time. Because yeah. if you think about even just this song specifically, it's such a powerful message to new brides or to well, impacts a lot bride-to-bees of and grooms and yeah. whatever. Like, I mean, almost everybody in this lifetime eventually goes through some kind of relationship that gets to, to marriage. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Or tries to get to that point. And so I feel like you feel these emotions. So she just like, she always just has such a powerful delivery on everything. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. With each other, mixing all of our colors. It's so easy to surrender when you finally But I really want to 
love her because I feel like the things she has to I always found Katy Perry is like I feel like it was like the back in the day like I kissed a girl and like you know that kind of kid that's who I knew as Katy Perry well, like the, yeah, not like, like the, firework and like roar those were the songs that I knew of Katy Perry not these songs I feel like these are hidden gems and I almost feel kind of like ripped off that I didn't hear these all well, sooner I would, yeah I wouldn't say like hidden gems I would just say like it's not not because I find like yeah. the like the honestly like the radio is like is kind of garbage like it, it well the radio doesn't the whole play. rating system that the, that the yeah. radio goes off of is like complete BS so yeah they like don't a lot play of the times the good stuff. yeah a lot of the times like they just literally pick the one thing they think is gonna be a pop hit and then they don't they don't it, it's like everything else is irrelevant they don't exactly, care so it's yeah. like unless you're actually invested in the artist you're not gonna find you're not gonna find this stuff right? yeah so. exactly for sure. Yeah, no, I really I love the radio. <laughs> loved this song. Really appreciate Katy Perry. Um, comment down below, guys, if you've ever felt the yeah, kind of uncomfortableness situation. and like the nervousness and the anxiousness. Because I mean, we've been there. Mm -hmm. Once we've set a wedding date again, I'm sure we'll be there again. Less stressful this time though, because yeah, we're gonna do something a lot more so. relaxed. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do something a lot more relaxed. Because I feel like that's just us, not super high strung people. We're more just chill, go with the flow. I feel like we're pretty quiet in, in, in general. Yeah, and we're just I like know. smaller groups of, like, yeah, I'm not quiet. Yeah, she's not. Like yeah, that. I am not quiet. Mm -hmm. um, but we just like smaller groups of people that genuinely like love and care about us. So I think that's what we're just gonna shrink it down, and then it doesn't get as nerve wracking because it's all of our favorite people. Yeah, that's the thing. Like. <laughs> Yeah, but guys, let us know. If Share that with your Exactly. You know That's the thing. Because I feel like these guest lists that are like 500, 600, 1,000 people, come on, guys. Yeah, like 80% like, of it is people you don't even care about. Exactly. So like, like, not even that you don't care about, because I'm sure they care about them in some aspect, but like, you're not talking to all of those people yeah. that day. So, what's the point? In, in my opinion, I think... It's a wedding for other people. Exactly. The That's smaller point. the group the more intimate, the more romantic, the more meaningful. In, in my opinion, I mean, everyone has their own opinion, but that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. That's our vibe, at least. Not everybody's, but that is us. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for coming back to our channel. Please subscribe, smash that like button, and turn on post notification bell because you don't want to miss anything. Mm -hmm. And please continue to comment down below. Let us know any of your suggestions because we are loving them. Yep. And we've organized a list. Yes. Like a, a September uh, request list. Yeah, so anything you guys request, we'll go onto that list and we'll just work one by one by one and get through it. Mm -hmm. We do have a little bit of catching up to do, but we promise we will get through everything. A bit, so yeah. thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.